Hey you guys, I'm Roxanne Speed with Enjoying Life Supernaturally. The Lord says to you today that you are in, you've been in a season, a time and a space where you are being pruned. What does that mean? It hurts. It's when you have the plant and there's ones that are dried up and you pluck those ones so that they can reproduce other healthy branches, other healthy fruit. You are walking into divine health. I say this to you again, take it seriously. You are walking into divine health. I tell you to exercise. I tell you to meditate. I tell you to rest and to relax because the fight is real. You are in a season of a perfect storm. It's where the good collides with the bad and it's so good, but yet on the other hand, it's so bad and it hurts so much that you don't even know if you're supposed to rejoice when the good comes. The father says, enjoy the good because it's just going to get better from here on. Your life is now changed. The trajectory of your life is no more frustration. No more just imagining, could I have this or that? No, it is finished. The Lord says that I have equipped you and made you ready for this battle. You're always going to be in battle. But in this battle, you will press forward. You will seize the enemy and you will cut off his head. You will spare None, says the Lord God Almighty. I'm still the God of the Old Testament. I'm still the God of justice and I'm going to justify you. I'm going to make right every wrong. I am going to do for you what you could and cannot do for yourself. I am redeeming back. I am buying back the time that you lost. And it's going to be so sweet. You will not Remember the days of old. Did I not tell you that your latter days shall be greater than your former? That the reign of your latter days, of this moving forward, is going to be by far, by far greater than anything you've ever seen because you haven't even walked in good yet. There's good, and then there's great, and then there's God. This is a God kind of blessing. It's not just a blessing and a gift. It's a whole way of life. I tell you that you will be relieved of financial strap and strain. You will be relieved of heartache from relationships that you're stuck in. I am giving you back everything. You have toiled. Now you reap. You have sowed. Now you reap. See, you're sowing what you sowed seasons past. I'm talking 20, 10, five years ago, five months ago. It is coming into full manifestation. Now, hear the word of the Lord. Nothing missing and nothing broken. There is nothing missing and nothing broken. You are loved. You have a secret admirer. You're sought after. You are watched. You're chosen. Oh, how you're holy and you're righteous and you're mighty. Because I, the strong arm of your Lord, I'm putting you out there front and center for all to see for my display. I'm reeling you back, says the Lord. And then I'm launching you out. Confused? It's okay. For confusion does not come from God. For I am not the author of confusion, but of peace. Stop trying to make the outcome. I know you control. I know you had trauma and loss and pain and damage so great that you're still wounded deep within your soul. And you do what you don't want to do. And what you will to do, you just can't do it. It's been heavy lately because I am beginning to reveal to you everything that has been sealed up and, and not out in the open until now. I give you the grace to change it. I'm pruning you so that your actions, your behavior, your thoughts are strong and steady because when I tell you you're going to lead, you will lead. People are going to look to you for advice for counsel, for love, and for comfort, and you better 
give it. Everything that you have walked through up until now has all been a testament of what I did in your life and who I am in your life. I am the God more than enough. I am capable and able. I am strong. I am sovereign. I am loving and I am kind. I am watchful and I'm crazy about you every day. You are my priority. I know they forgot you. I know they shut you up and shut you down. The Lord says there was long seasons of extreme agony and loneliness that you suffered deep. And it was deep suffering. See, I taught you obedience through the things you suffered because Christ learned active obedience through the things he suffered. Hear the word of the Lord right now. The Father says, I'm releasing unto you the spirit of counsel and of might. You are going to know things and have insight so keen that it's going to freak you out at first. Roll with it. Roll with my agenda. It's to take you into the mountains of this world where Satan has a hold on. But I'm releasing you. My child, my warrior, my secret weapon to go in and infiltrate, infiltrate the enemy's camp. You're pulling it down. You're not only pulling down strongholds in your own life and the life of those around you. You are pulling down strongholds in seasons, for reasons, in regions, in territories. You're taking it back. For the Lord God has stepped in. Mighty and strong is his name. Defender of all. And I'm no longer playing the game that the enemy has used to annihilate, to annihilate you. No. Watch closely. It's going to be like that. At a blink of an eye, your whole life is going to change. Ponder on it. What do you want, says the Father? What are you good at? What do you enjoy doing? Those are the things I've created you, the, the innate, natural things you're inclined to. What are you drawn to? That is what I have prepared for you. Do not play with the world. Do not commit adultery with the world. It hurts me when you cheat on me, when you think like the world and you continue in the toxic behaviors without addressing me. I ain't mad at you. I'm right here to save you. What did I tell you? Lean not you. Lean not on your own understanding, says the Holy Spirit. But seek me, the Lord God Almighty, in all that you do, in everything that you do. And I will make your way straight. Your way will be prosperous. It will have a good rapport because I am the Lord. The Father says that I have made a way for you through the rivers and the desert, through the valleys. Change is the name of the season. Change. Let it go. Relax. Relax and sail through this. Let the winds of my spirit pick you up and take you where I said you would go. You are again the recipient of my blessings, of my long suffering. Do you understand how much I yearn to give you good things to heal your mind, to heal your body, to free you of the slavery, to flee, free you of the captivity. You will not need another man's trash. You will never again need hand-me-downs, hoopties. That is not who I am. To be in poverty is not a blessing and money is not a curse. You must have money to advance the kingdom and what I've called you into. I am healing and changing the poverty mentality that you have lived with. Money is not a sin. Greed is not going to overtake you because you're humble and you run to me and I teach you how to stay from greed, how to stay from being obsessed with the things of the world. They're not your source. They're just a tool. I am your source. I make it happen. I deliver it to you. I conjure it up and here you go. It is me in my own doing. 
I tell you this word, this word of prophecy, this word of wisdom, and I release you into the next right now by the mighty hand of God. He's pressing you. He's thrusting you, propelling you forward into the life of abundance because I will show my glory. Your story is long, but over my beloved. Your story is just beginning. Mm. I long to see you successful. I long to see you healed and whole. I have a heaven, a place with me in my presence where you are perfect. Everything is light and free and you can just be. Practice it now. Are you prepared for where I'm taking you? Are you prepared for the baby? Are you prepared for the marriage? Are you prepared for the spouse? The Lord says, I'm releasing unto you the desires of your very heart, the cravings of your soul that are in me because I placed them there. You're aligning with me, says the Lord. You're learning how I speak in symbols and numbers and visions and in dreams, in words and thoughts. You are now capable to rise higher. You will lead. You will lead nations as I lead and rule as sovereign judge and lion. Ooh, says the Lord. Be patient and be still. Enjoy your life. Get strong in every way you can, and then you stand as I come in and increase it. I love you. You are mine, says the Lord. Okay, you guys, when he stops, I stop. So if you have not yet um, signed up for a one-on-one -on -one session on my website, please do. It's my own personal business. It's life coaching. It's prophetic. It's powerful. It's life-changing. One session, it's worth it. So go on my website, sign up. Book a meeting, and I cannot wait to see you. Hit the subscribe button. Come on, you guys. Help me bring the life, the rhema, to our hurting brothers and sisters. It's Christ's brothers. It's God's children. Care. Even if you don't care, hit subscribe and ask the Lord to make you care. Amen. Stop doing your feelings. Stop living by what you feel. Do what you know to do. And I will show you a world. A world that's so beyond your wildest dreams. And it's real. And it's waiting for you. It's coming. All right, you guys, if you have not yet hit the like button, hit it. It takes a half a second. It helps me again, this ministry. All right, you guys, keep commenting. If you have not yet sewed into this ministry, I tell you to do so. So donate. Donate. Help me in this ministry, the ministry of Christ Jesus, accomplish the Great Commission. Amen? Save souls in this great awakening. All right, if you can give $5, give it 50 cents, 500, 5,000. Give what the Holy Spirit leads you to give, but he will lead you. All right, you guys, I love you. Strap up, walk out, have fun. Enjoy this life with Christ. It's exhilarating. It's new every day. All right, I love you guys. Listen and learn. See you next time. Mwah.